Hi friends, today I am happy to say that we have reached 500 plus subscribers in our Chetana Pixel channel. Till now we were posting only our Excel formulas and office tips. Going forward, I am going to post videos on Python, Power BI, Excel VBA macros and Google Apps script as well. Please keep checking all the videos on our channel. Thank you so much for all the support you have given till date. I am looking the same in future as well. Thank you so much. Let us begin our video today. Here we have process wise revenue details for 4 months January, February, March and April. So here the scenario is how to sum up all months revenue together to any one particular process. So here we have to use some product function. So let us begin to implement the formula equals to some product open another bracket for array one and select the process data range equals to which process. So here in H6 I have a process name close bracket asterisk symbol that means multiplication symbol again open another bracket and select the entire revenue data range and close bracket two times this will sum up for FNA process all the month's revenue together this scenario will help us to sum up all the revenue details together for any one particular process. Let us go to some product scenario 2. Here I have two process. I need to sum up the revenue only for these two process for all the four months. So let us implement the formula equals to some product is number match select the process range comma and select h6 h7 which are the two process that we need to sum up the revenue comma zero close bracket close bracket that means i have closed first bracket i, I have closed the match function the second bracket close the is number function multiply open bracket and select the entire revenue range close bracket two times hit enter this will sum up for healthcare and mortgage process revenue together into i6 cell if you would like to know how to understand this is number and match function together to implement within the sum product function, please watch this particular video which is sum product part 2. This has more explanation on is number and match function. Scenario 3. Here how we can identify how many unique processes are there equals to sum product 1 divided by count if select the process range comma again select the process range close bracket two times hit enter here four unique process are there how to determine whether there is four unique, unique process. Copy the same data range, paste here and then go to the data and remove duplicates. So you can see the unique number of process are four only which is resulted in our formula. I'm going to delete this removed duplicates data and scenario 4 count duplicates so 
in the previous scenario we have counted how many unique numbers are there now we are going to count how many duplicated values are there equals to count a of process minus same formula from previous some product 1 divided by count if select the same range that means process range comma again the process range close bracket two times hit enter so total eight duplicate items are there in process range in all possible scenarios please try to implement some product function to understand much better in practice if you have any new scenarios that you came up please comment below so that i will answer to your questions and i can help you to implement the sum product function please like share and subscribe to my channel chetana pixel thank you so much for watching my video see you in next coming video thank you